it's Heart Health Month, and did you know that dark chocolate can be good for your heart? I'm in the kitchen. Stay tuned. I'm going to share with you my favorite recipe using dark chocolate. You are going to love it. Hello, it's Amy from Be Healthy Enough, doing what I love to do. Oh, wait. I do not like to cook. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm sharing with you a recipe. It's Heart Health Month. I learned that dark chocolate is good for you and good for your heart. It's got heart healthy flavonoids to help reduce inflammation. So I wanted to share a recipe that I love that I found that uses dark chocolate. But you guys, I don't like to cook. Early on when I became a health coach about six years ago, I realized that you have to cook your own food to be healthy enough. You cannot, it's impossible to go out to dinner every night and be healthy enough. So over the last six years, I've been learning, thank God my husband's a good cook, but rest, dessert recipes I like. What I do is I try to find things that I love and then find a healthier option. A healthier option is something that's not as refined, it's got more vitamins and minerals. So I try to swap in those healthier versions and, and find recipes that contain those ingredients. And today, that's what I have. By the way, do you like my new apron? I got it for Christmas from my friend Sarah, I love it. It does make being in the kitchen a little bit more fun. So today I'm gonna share my flourless, not, it's not mine, it's a flourless chocolate cake that I found from the Detoxinista, or I think I got it from my friend Freddie, who's also a health coach. In any case, I love it. It's super easy, it's so yummy, and a little bit goes a long way, and your friends will just love it. You ready to get started? Put on your aprons and let's go. Here are some of the things that you'll need for your flourless chocolate cake. You will need a springform pan. I like using a springform pan because it makes it so much easier to get the cake out of the pan. You'll need something to grease the pan. You can use butter, you can use coconut oil. I like this organic extra virgin olive oil nonstick cooking spray. It just really works the best for me. You'll need some dark chocolate. The darker, the better. You'll need four ounces or a half of a cup. You'll need a half of a cup of butter, which is a stick, or you can use a half a cup of coconut oil. You'll need three eggs. You'll need honey, real, real honey, not the fake honey that you see at the grocery store. Look for 100% real honey. You'll need some cacao powder. I use cacao powder, the more organic, the more um, superfood, cacao just because it adds a little bit more nutrients to it. You can use regular cocoa powder as well. Oh, and you'll need some raspberries to make it look pretty and to put on top. These taste really good with the dark chocolate. I used a double boiler on my stove. You can also just use the microwave. I seem to get a little bit smoother melt when I use the double boiler. I let it cool off just a little bit before I start adding the other ingredients. First ingredient I add is the cocoa powder. And I stir that around. Trying to make sure, actually, you know what? I'm gonna to switch to the whisk. It just makes it so much easier to get it all mixed up. And I use the whisk, and that makes sure you don't have any lumpy, no lumpy cocoa powder in this at all. Then I add the honey. If you like it a little bit more sweet, you can add more honey. If you don't like it as sweet, you can use less honey. Just trying not to shoot, use any white sugar. Things less, at least processed as possible is my be healthy enough guideline. And you stir that all in. You can see it's already getting a cake-like batter. Hopefully you can see that. Yummy, yummy, yummy. It smells so good. I wish you guys could smell this. 
Next, just add the eggs. And I took the three eggs and I lightly beat them with a fork before I put them in here. Just add the three eggs in. And the mixture's pretty cool by now, so you're not gonna cook your eggs. And mix it real good. Get an arm workout at the same time. I'm gonna give it a little scrape. And then finish mixing it up. You want a really nice batter. See how nice and shiny that is? I think you get a shinier chocolate and a better melt when you use the double boiler. And then you need to just pour it into your greased springform pan. That's all there is to it. It's been out of the oven for about 15 minutes. Now I'm gonna take it out of the springform pan. Let's hope this works. There we go, let go, there we go. And just, and you can just serve it from here or cut it from here. I'll show you, I'll do that with you right here. Let's just cut that right like that. Oh, it was perfectly done. Oh, a little bit here. I'll steal that and cut. And seriously, you only need a slice about that big. It's not very um, thick, but you don't really want a lot because it's so rich. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. You can serve it on a nice pretty white plate and then top it with some raspberries. Oh, doesn't look yummy. Or if you want, maybe you can add some ice cream or some whipped cream too. That was it. That wasn't too bad, was it? Even I can do a recipe like that. And it is so yummy with a glass of red wine because red wine's also good for your heart, but just a little bit, okay? <laughs> if you like this, give me a thumbs up. If you want some more recipes, give me a comment. If you want to stay tuned for more recipes, subscribe. If you want to be notified, if there's a new video, hit the subscribe bell. And what's it? That's it. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Dark chocolate contains heart healthy flavonoids. <laughs> flavonoids. What a strange word. Flavonoids. Flavonoids. <laughs> Say that 10 times fast. It's Amy from Be Healthy Enough doing what I love to do. Oh. I don't like cooking. Why am I doing this? <laughs>